Hey sister, are you lost? Greg, please, just let me go. I beg of you. You know we can't do that. You need to return to your room. Why are you doing this to us? I thought you wanted to save mankind with us. You don't turn your back on family. That is bullshit. This is not a family. We're nothing but slaves. This is no life. I wish you hadn't said that. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, today we have with us Oscar award-winning actor Michael Buston and Morgan Remeni, the two-time Emmy award-winning actress. Thank you for coming. But we are not here to talk about their film or TV careers. We are here to talk about the cult that they are involved with, Pure Love. I really resent you calling it that. It is extremely irresponsible and disrespectful. I'm sorry, Mike. That wasn't my intention. What would you call it? Really? You have the audacity to ask me that? It's a movement, Daisy. It's a philosophy. It's a way of life. It is our religion. It's most definitely not a cult. You have to agree with that with Mike. I don't know if any other organization that does as much as Pure Love does for the community and its members. I mean, the message is in the name. Pure Love. What is more beautiful than that? Isn't that what life is all about? Love. Well, when people found out we were doing an episode on Pure Love, the letters started to pour in. We had over a thousand letters from people claiming that the organization is not allowing them to contact their loved ones who are members of Pure Love. Daisy, that is such bull. I don't know who these people are, but they're simply lying. There's nothing in Mr. Sutherland's teaching that suggests that anyone should turn their back on their loved ones. This is just ludicrous. We have with us Sophia. Sophia's brother Adam became a member of Pure Love about five years ago, and he cut off all contact with Sophia four years ago when he became a pure. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Will you explain to me and our audience what, or should I say who, the Puries are? Puries are the members of Pure Love who've basically signed their whole lives away to a stupid cult. <laughs> I mean, they've actually signed a contract that says they're with the organization for the next 400 years. They work 60 to 20 hour days for absolutely no pay. Their checks go straight to the organization. They're provided with food and shelter, but that's all. The cult decides when they eat, what they eat, when they sleep, and who they could talk to. Sorry, continue. And who they could talk to. They're forbidden to talk to any non-members, and they call the non-members cancer. The organization does not want their members to have any moral support or any meaningful relationships. And even within the Puries, the second any meaningful relationships are developed, one of them gets transferred to a different house. Relationships meaning romantic or just strong friendships. Have you tried contacting your brother, Adam? <laughs> of course I have. They won't let me see him. <laughs> Last time, I had a gun pointed at me and was told that I'd be shot if I ever returned. <laughs> Have you ever thought maybe Adam doesn't want to contact you? We were the best of friends before your cult got a hold of him. There's no reason for him not wanting to be in touch with me. Maybe because your love is not pure. You're obviously a selfish person with really poor character traits. I beg your pardon? You don't even know me. How dare you? I know you more than I would ever care to. Your brother? is happy. He found a purpose in life, a better way. And you're trying to interfere with that. How dare you to put your own insecurities on your brother and on pure love? You should be ashamed of yourself. How about the murder of Fiona Voss? She was a Puri. She tried to leave the organization. They found her dead in the woods. No one wants to talk about this. This organization destroys lives. 
tears families apart, pulls guns on family members, and help flat out murders people. They're everywhere. They're doctors, lawyers, politicians, policemen. One moment. What do you mean? We're in the middle of recording the show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a representative of Pure Love present in the studio has just pulled the plug on the interview with Mike and Morgan. Cut! <sighs> Watch your back, you bitch. You mess with the pole, you'll get the horns. Are you crazy? You know physical contact's not allowed. You relax. There's no one here. I don't care. Keep your damn hands to yourself. She's so much. I miss you too. What is happening here? Oh, hi, brother. I was just checking if Sister Christina needed any help with dinner. I'm fine, brother. I don't have a plate set up for you. I didn't realize you'd be down there with us, but I can set one up right away. No need, sweetie. Please, everyone, have a seat. I would like to ask you all the golden question. What is the most important thing in life? Pure love. I'm so happy to hear your hearts are still pure. I want you all to remember that. There will be a couple of cancerous policemen who will come here and they want to talk to you about Fiona. Remember, they don't care about Fiona or any of us. All they want to do is destroy our way of life and taint our good name. Fiona left us. She betrayed us. And she's cancer. And we wish her the best wherever she may be. That is the way I remember it. Does anybody here remember it? otherwise? Marvelous. Everyone, please enjoy your meal. It must be getting cold. that there has been some very inappropriate and disgusting interactions amongst a couple of you. Remember, pure love does not tolerate these behaviors. Adam, Christina, I want you to assume the positions. Brother Ethan, for coming forward and showing your love for their souls, you will do the cleansing. What is the hold up, Ethan? I'm sorry. I didn't want your souls to be trapped on this planet. I'm doing this for your own good.
You two go to your rooms. There will be no dinner for you tonight. One of you will be transferred first thing in the morning. Is it? It's me, Gabriel. Come in, sister. To what do I owe this pleasure? There has been an unpure relationship between two of the members in my house. It is all under control now. I just wanted you to hear it from me. I see. <sighs> Stand up. Extremely disappointed in the way you are running your house. Please, sister, if you think you are not fit to do this job, do not hesitate to tell me. I am sure there is somewhere else in the organization that I can use you in. Perhaps you are more suited for cleaning duties. No, sir. It will not happen again. Good. Good. What is the most important thing in life? Pure love. I'd like you to get undressed now. Man, these fucking assholes are on a whole other level of dumbass for getting involved with this shit. You say that again? I mean. <laughs> Have you read their Bible? There's some seriously budget crazy stuff. They have like different layers of pureness. You have to take all these curses and they're like $5,000 each. And that's just the regular pure love members. These purists, they give me the chills. Do you think they killed our girl? The bears shit in the woods? Yes, sir. They do. They do. On behalf of Nick Davis and myself, we'd like to thank you all for having us here and agreeing to speak to us. Not at all. After all, Fiona was a dear friend of ours, and we would like the person who has done this to be caught, if not punished for hurting the beautiful Fiona. But to make sure something like this doesn't happen to anyone else. That was very thoughtful of you. We want the exact same thing and we will do everything we can. Can we have a conversation with Linda? Would you like to do the interview here or at the station? With all due respect, detectives, 
None of us are leaving this house unless you have a warrant for arrest. With all due respect, ma'am, we weren't talking to you. What do you want, Linda? Remember, this is your decision. We know that you and Fiona were very close. No, we weren't. I don't know who told you that, but it's a lie. You were lied to. You have nothing to worry about. We're here to help you. This was inside Fiona's stomach. We believe she swallowed it moments before she was killed. It is addressed to you. Go ahead, read it. Dear Linda, I am sorry that you have decided not to come with me. It is extremely hard for me to leave you behind, but I just can't take it anymore. I know that I will probably not make it. To be free again, I just have to at least try. I hope to see you out there someday. Maybe we can go to the beach and suntan, and then we can go shoe shopping or something like we talked about. Thank you for being a friend to me. I love you. And I mean, I truly love you. You guys were planning on leaving together, weren't you? I don't know, man. I don't know. Did you see the way they were looking at us? They know. I know they know. Shut the fuck up. They don't know shit, okay? Plus, what other choice did we have? She had to go. We had orders. Hey! It was for her own good. We were saving her soul. We didn't want her to become cancer. She became cancer the second she thought about turning her back on us. We did the right thing. Don't worry about those cops. Just stick to what Gabrielle told us to do. Are you going to help me clean or what? What are you doing here? Are you insane? Do you want to get us killed? Don't you do this tonight? It's tonight or never. You can get transferred first thing in the morning. I overheard Gabriel on the phone. This happens. We'll never see each other again. I'll be here in 20 minutes. Just pack a few items of clothing. We can have our lives back. <laughs> we talked about it for months. <laughs> On the day of, I, I panicked. <laughs> I backed out. <laughs> I told on her. 
I just wanted to save her soul. Every time a member becomes cancer, Gabriella will issue a return or death order. Return or death order? Two people are sent out to retrieve the member. And if they... <laughs> if they refuse... They get, they get killed. Who does she send out to return Fiona? <laughs> it was Greg and Ethan. I think it's time you give a proper statement at the station. Would you like that? It won't be okay. I promise. Are you out of your mind? What did you do that for? Just shot my partner. What are you talking about? What happened? A couple cancers were taken care of. Good. Make sure it's well covered up. I'm sure love doesn't get mentioned in the news. Don't worry. The mayor won't let that happen. His love is pure. Welcome back to our show. Our next guest is a man who needs no introduction, Danny Sutherland, the creator of the faith known as Pure Love. I would like to thank you for having me on your show and having enough faith that I wouldn't utterly ruin it. Thank you for coming. I'm going to dive right into it, if you don't mind. Please, I expected nothing less. Well, it's no secret I'm not a fan of you or your organization, Pure Love. I am quite aware. I want you to know that Despite your dislike of me, I remain a loyal fan of yours, and I hope to change your mind about myself and pure love. How dare you? You destroy the lives of thousands of people. You destroy their families. You take everything that they worked for, and you use them till there's nothing left of them. These are no more than dramatic fabrications of the truth designed by media and corporations to discredit us. They know that we teach love and love is not profitable. That's all we need in life. Not cars, not expensive material objects or fancy clothing. These are just distractions from the truth. Love. I love you, Daisy. Our next guest is Sophia. Sophia has lost her best friend to this organization, her brother. You're the scum of the earth. It is very clear that you are in serious need of love. Yes. I want to help you. I am willing to personally run the test on you to figure the core of the problem. And I will do your first five sessions for free. I love you, Sophia. I'm not gonna let you destroy another life. It's the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. Words can't even describe it. I'm getting shivers just talking about it right now. Why, pure love? Because I choose life. Because I choose happiness for myself and for everyone in this planet. 
The truth of it is, before I joined Pure Love, I was a loser, especially as an actor. I was getting auditions, but I wasn't booking anything. The moment I started studying Mr. Sarlin's teaching, everything changed. Oh man, it became crystal clear. The doctor diagnosed me as clinically depressed. Me? <laughs> Can you believe it? I was taking eight pills a day. The thing is, I wasn't crazy. They made me think I was. Pure love is the only cure I needed. Pure love made me a whole new person. I want you to be happy like I am. I want you to be successful like I am. Save your soul. Join us. Pure love is the only answer. You can be a star too. Join us. Pure love is the only answer.